world headquarters of common sense. Talk radio. Well, I don't think uh, I don't think Leah Thomas should be competing with women. I think Ash is absolutely right. Ash has hit the nail on the head. Uh, you retain all the advantages of males, and we should not be competing with me- with women. Mm, exactly. But when when somebody says that, particularly me or Ash. Uh, say things like that, then there are quite a lot so of you're trans friends. Yeah, they say you're trans. Yeah, and, and we're called all kinds of names. Yeah. Well, I get called all sorts of names as well. You know, the 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 uh, the, def- the term trans uh, transphobe can be applied to me. Mm. Uh, I just think I'm talking reality and talking sp- and speaking sense. And I think. But why will... do the? Sorry, Ash, I was going to say, why do the authorities in sport are they frightened? Because you know there are there are differences. It's PC, isn't um, it? political correctness. And uh, you know we have a very good friend, uh, Ash and I, who who uh, became a, a woman. You actually wouldn't know if you met her. She's really happy. Uh, she was in the wrong body, and she doesn't talk about it, and she just lives her life as a woman now. But there are there's a a minority of people now who just want to keep on about this particular issue. Um, which is probably making the lives of a lot of trans women very difficult, I would think. Yes, it does. Uh, You know, going back to what uh, Ash was saying before, in sport especially, we retain all those advantages and we should not be competing with women. But on the other hand, we should just really be allowed to get allowed to get on with our lives in peace. There mm. shouldn't be uh, any prejudice against us, or we shouldn't be discriminated against, used, treated less favourably, simply because uh, we're trans. Uh, and that can be separated from this, which is, in my view, just totally unhelpful when people with male bodies are competing in women's sports. They, you know, because you don't segregate sport on the basis of feelings. You be, you segregate it on the basis of bodies. And we all know this. Of physicality. And what... Yeah. I mean, are there some trans people... Because I don't know much about this, I must admit. Uh, I'm far too old. I'm going to use age as my excuse for everything tonight, Ash, as well. Yeah. Um, are there some uh, 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 trans people now who live their lives... Um, as the opposite sex to the one they were born with, but they still live their lives with all their original accoutrements. Yeah, Frida, who calls us, does. Well, I don't know. I can't speak. I can't speak for anybody else. Some do, perhaps some don't. But we need to come back again to the reality of bodies, and uh, we can make whatever changes mm. to our bodies as we like. But we retain our skeletons. We retain our hearts. We retain our most of our uh, physical strength muscles and that is what's important when Mm. it comes to sport but i thought i thought actually when you you transitioned you you took estrogen or something and that actually Mm. reduced your your muscle muscle a little bit yeah but not 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 too much of a still a massive advantage could debbie answer these questions ash unless there's something you want to tell me i'm worried about the length of your hair as it is You can transition without it's longer changing than anything. Debbie's, to I be could quite declare honest. myself, couldn't I, a woman, and enter without doing anything, couldn't I? I could actually. No, you don't. You don't shave. need. You don't need to ask. No, I wouldn't I, even I need to do work, yeah. No, you've worked all this out, Ash. Clearly, yeah. you know you, you know what's going on. <laughs> I know here. what to do. I could even say I still <laughs> yeah. find women attractive. I'm a lesbian, Ooh. and that's it. And put me in the woman. Yeah, this category. is worrying me, yeah. Debbie. Worrying I me can, quite a lot. Yeah. I can put some hormones in the mail for him. And I don't even need to do that. I can just say I am, but I don't want any physical changes. And then but this is this, but this is this is where we've come to in uh, denying reality. And as a trans person, I don't need to do this. Uh, no. All I'm interested in is living my life in peace. Mm. But yeah. but uh, basically, imposing on other people, taking mm. other people's rights, is is not what we should be here for. We should be why is this happening? Our own rights. Debbie, why has this happened? Why has I mean, for argument's sake, what J.K. Rowling said. Uh, was not really any different to what we're saying, but it seemed to have caused an enormous amount of upset. People demonstrating outside her house. People, uh, people even now, trans people having a go at gay people. And why? What has happened to, to these people? In the, in what is after all, and uh, obviously not gay. What is after all, the trans community is a minority. Why? Why would they want to make all this fuss? Well, I'm and make not it difficult convinced. for people like you. Yeah, I'm not convinced that trans people did want this. We were quite happy living our lives, mm. but then along comes this activist base wanting to change things. And you've, you've spoken about J.K. Rowling. She, she has said nothing objectionable, nothing offensive at all. 
Yeah. Uh, she simply uh, stuck up for women's rights, and as a, you know, as a father of a daughter, I, I, uh, I mm. you know, I value that. You know, I care about my daughter's rights as well as I mm. care about my own. Yeah. So. So I was going to say, do you think, because there are obviously a, a lot of trans people, we've heard of a lot, who want to take part in sport, who took part in sport before they transitioned, should there be a, a sporting community for trans people? Well, there's probably not enough of us, and this is the problem. We are small mm. in numbers, so uh, at a local club meet, I'd probably win the race simply because I was the only one. Uh, but, but it's growing, isn't it? That's the worry. Some, that sometimes you get like six or seven pupils in one class. Is it becoming a fashion for some people? Well, there is more of it, but certainly when it comes back to sport, there's not enough trans people mm. usually to make fair, to, to make a competition. Yeah. Yeah. But we just compete with our own sex, for goodness sake. And what we mm. should be doing is, compete, is campaigning for... Uh, Let's say I, I don't fancy changing with the blokes because I don't, you know, when it, when I get changed, I don't really look like one anymore. So mm. let's campaign for separate changing facilities. We can do that. Yeah. Uh, let's campaign possibly for separate record keeping so we could keep records for the, let's say, the fastest trans woman to swim the 500 yards or whatever mm. Leah Thomas is swimming this year. We can do that. But we don't need to then impose on women's competition at the same time. We can do it in our own sex class. It's quite yeah. simple. It's wokery, isn't it, really, that's driven all this? I mean, well, something's happened. In a few years, they'll, they'll see the ridiculous of this and they'll offer the gold medal to the woman who came second and fourth will get bronze, and that's what will happen, won't it? Like it happened in the Olympics when they found they're all on drugs. That's what's going to happen. And all the people that back this up will look like fools, the politicians. Well, Sharon Davis is one who has been looking at this analogy because mm. she was a swimmer who was competing against East Germans in the 1980s that she knew had a competitive advantage because these were women who had been doped up on testosterone. But yeah. what's happening now is you've got men who are uh, transitioning to become women who, as you said before, yeah. Ash, yeah. you know, retain so much advantage you know perhaps the edge does get taken off performance but mm. but male people have such an advantage that the edge is only part of it there is so much more in terms of advantage we all know this I know. can i um can i ask you a personal question debbie when did when did you know that you were in the wrong body well i don't think i'm really in the wrong i'm in my own body I've well i don't mean it, it like that yeah things. but yeah, you know yeah. what i mean yeah yeah I've changed it to become more comfortable with it. I yeah. think I was first aware that there were some issues going on when I was four, five, six years old, but the, I couldn't do anything about it. So if you can't do anything about it, you uh, you just get mm. on with life and you find other things to do. It was only when in my early 40s I realised that people could tr transition and that dream I had of uh, changing my body could become a reality. And it, that, it was at that point I felt I needed to do it. But uh, it's something I've known throughout life. But until mm. it became a realistic possibility, you could just live with it. You know, but this what is about children? Because now they say it's best to get it before puberty to stop things happening. But then that's also very dangerous because have they really made up their mind? There was someone who said, oh, no, they were advised incorrectly. So when should it, mm. when should it occur? Well, quite, Ash. You know, we've got children who are... You, we won't let children tattoo their bodies because it's a permanent change. We won't even let children buy tobacco. And We know we could buy ch tobacco and alcohol when we're children. We could do it when we're 16. Children now can't. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. on the other hand, we're saying that children can do this. It's really dangerous what's happening with children. Mm. And I think that children are the, uh, you know, are, are the most vulnerable group in this. Children are being told that they can grow up to become yeah. men or women. Mm. And uh, it's having appalling consequences on the children's mental health as a result. I mean, I, I remember when... Well, our friend, you you know who I'm talking about, Ash. Yeah, yeah. Um, when he he rang me one day out of the blue and he said, uh, James Highblum, we've, talked, we've known each other because he's the same business for years. And he said, uh, I just want to tell you and explain briefly, he said, from tomorrow, my name is going to be... So and so, and I said, he said, well, I've, I, and I had no idea. I'd known him reasonably well for a long time, and uh, he said, well, it's just the right time now. My, my folks understand, etc., 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 and this is what I'm going to do. And uh, he did it, and she has become, uh, well, I, I don't even think of her as a formerly as a man anymore. Just she's just you yeah. know a, a female friend, and and that's it. 
But there are some people who just seem to want to keep on shouting about these things, saying they're not getting a fair deal. I know from... I don't want to mention her name. Uh, that She says, life is fine. Nobody really knows. I just get on with my life and, and I'm happy. Yet the first time I ever came... What? I've, I ever knew about... Oh, sorry, right. no. I ever... Shut up, Ash. <laughs> I ever knew about this was... When I used to do my late-night TV show in the 90s, um, I got a, 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 a letter in the week from the boss saying that your cameraman... I can't remember his name. I think it was Tom or something. Um, actually is transitioning from next week, so he will be dressed as a female from now on and we don't want anybody to mention it or talk about it at all and he was the cameraman that i had my own cameraman who followed me around and on the show and did and i did find that quite strange well it was new though, to begin it? with yeah. but you know well you would but do, you get just, used to it and what about people who change from you know some people are fluid and say oh, i feel like a man today and tomorrow i feel like a uh, you a know like a, you. a woman i think eddie is i was saying that well, i don't know what his view is now or she but some people say it depends, they feel different on different days. Yeah, well, what what does it mean to feel like a man or a woman? None of us can know. Mm. All we can do is, all we can know mm. is what it feels like to be ourselves. And what you're saying yeah. about your cameraman, James, from years ago, mm. really what we're, what you're interested in is, is the ca does the cameraman or camera woman do, the job do right. a good yeah. job? Yeah, yeah. and, it, and as long the, as somebody does yeah. their job, What's the problem? Yeah. He was actually better when he was a man, wasn't he, James, you said? No, it was no, better. No, it made no difference no. at all. Absolutely no difference, because they said to me, That's can you handle this? And I said, yeah, sure. I mean, you know, we had long chats... Uh, while he was going through this process, and it was quite interesting. And, and and that's why I find it really difficult now at this moment to see those people having a go at J.K. Rowling for what she said because I didn't think she said anything that was untoward at all. And then when I hear Keir Starmer says he doesn't really know what a woman is mm. or words to that effect, I think this, this is just... What is... Everybody's afraid of saying something... He said something, something about cervix, we, didn't he, a couple of weeks ago? Oh, it's, I mean, it's just uh, ridiculous... Good talk. Hot, Hot talk. talk. Bold talk. Talk radio. Listen on your smart speaker. Watch it live on your smart TV. The world headquarters of common sense. Talk radio.